I just can't believe it. A lot of death. A lot of moms. What are we doing today? Blood leave. Hi. Hello. I'm Brittany. I'm Brad. And we're Audio Shelf. We are a podcast and a booktube channel that reviews books yeah. and audiobooks. Yeah. Before and we before we start. And we're a mess right now. Please subscribe down below so you can get updates. <clears throat> We gotta pull ourselves together. Okay, we got we got this. We got yeah, this. We, yeah, we do. We do. We do. Whew. So before we begin, please extend our gratitude to H M H. Yes. Books for young readers. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so formal. <laughs> I just can't even grasp what we what we just I read. Know, I know. I know. It's crazy. So, like I said, we're doing blood leaf. Blood today. leaf. Blood leaf. What is that, you ask? It is the most amazing fantasy novel that we have read. One of the most. One of the most. Yes. But very it's top. It's still pretty up there. Huh. It is a beautiful, beautiful young adult novel by Crystal Smith, who, this is her first book. It's her first book? Yeah. Her first book. If I tried to write a book, it would be pictures. Yes. I would be like... The the conflict happened, and then it's the over. And then it's over. Because nothing ever gets better in my stories. It's a video for a different <laughs> time. <laughs> uh, oh, so. But Crystal Smith, where did she come from? Where is she going to go? I don't know. So Bloodleaf is actually a trilogy, so there are two more coming out. They're scheduled. We don't know where the story is going to go because this one wraps up pretty succinctly. So we're not sure where... It's going to go. We don't know. Mm -mm. And this book came out March 12th, so there's plenty of time to still get it while it's hot. Yes. And, and we believe it's going to it's, be very hot. It's going to be big. Yes, definitely. So a little bit about this book. It is a magic-influenced book, which sounds real spooky, but we follow Princess Aurelia through the trials and tribulations that she goes through by being a, a blood magic user and we see a lot of stuff happen to her, a lot of stuff happen to the people around her, and it's just a beautifully written novel. And I think that's part of yes. its big strength, is that Crystal did a phenomenal job with every single sentence, every single scene. The city was literally building itself in my imagination. Like there were walls going up, there were towers being built, there was ivy coming across the, the floors of some of the apothecary shops that Aurelia would go into. It was just such a rich novel. I feel like I'm still there. Yes. I wanted to find this place on like Travelocity. Yes. And go there. Yes. But it's not real. Oh, I like that. But one thing I also loved about this book is how original it was. Mm -hmm. They took this concept of blood magic yeah. and also beauty and nature and they turned it into something that essentially gives people life. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the magic with blood leaf as well. Not just the title of the book, but also the plant that's in there. Yes. Is that the plant actually gives new life after life has been lost. Um, so it's... I would say just magic through and through. Mm -hmm. There's everything about the land, the city that they're in has a magical wall that keeps people out. Um, you can only be let in if you're invited, but it's through the novel that you figure out that someone's trying to drop the magic around the wall, which is there for letting in a lot of bad stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the mystery in the novel is that you really don't know what's happening. You don't know who's doing it. So Aurelia is going around trying to figure out what is happening, how to stop it, what she can do, and also practice and get better at her magic. So that is one of the cool parts too, is that we get to see her practice and really hone her craft. She really does. Yeah. She is so kick-ass. She is. One of the best female main, main characters I've ever read. Yeah. What about you? Yes. Yes. Hands down. And Zan? Oh! We need a second. Oh. Heart. He was... An amazing person. If he's single, holla at me. He's fake. Okay. He's just oh. such a wonderful, wonderful character. There's so many good characters. Oh my Nathaniel God. Kate? and Kate. Crystal Smith already knows how much we love Kate. Oh yes. We have tweeted at her. I wanted to know Kate's 
like before we found out. I want a novella of Kate. Yes, a novella of Kate. But before we found out actually what Kate was going to name her baby, mm-hmm. I asked Crystal. <laughs> I said, tell me the name of the baby. Tell me if she has a nursery theme, color, a color scheme. In a medieval town. And tell me where her registry is at so I can get her a present. You know it was like medieval target. Yes, medieval target. <laughs> always, always. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we were we were pretty fascinated by every character in this book. We would gladly take a novella of a lot of them. Yes. The villains in this book. Perfect. I was just thinking about this. Oh. I was listening to it, getting my mail, walking to the mailbox, listening to it. Yeah. And Taurus. What a phenomenal villain. He, you hate him. You hate everything about him. You hate his hair follicles. Exactly. He's so evil. You just cannot stand a single thing that comes out of this man's mouth. As soon as, <sighs> because we listened to this as an audiobook, and we mm-hmm. also read along with it um, from our copy from HMH books. That's our, that's our favorite thing to do. Yes. So we listened a lot of it. And Nicola Barber, she blew me away with how she could make me hate this man even more. She's from Spin. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I just realized this. Things inside my brain. I'm done. She is a a part of Spin with Christine Vam and Jim Dale. Holy crap. I can't. Well, she's amazing. She's amazing. In Bloodleaf and Spin. Oh my God. If you ever get the chance to listen to Spin, if you haven't already, go do it. You will not be disappointed. Nicola Barber, the audiobook of Bloodleaf is just phenomenal phenomenal and we'll actually be doing a podcast episode on yes bloodleaf as well it'll be a little bit more extensive into nicola's um narration narration mm-hmm. so if you want to know more about how she does as as all of the characters mm. you should stick along with us and listen to that episode as well yes so did we enjoy this book did we <laughs> that's a silly question <laughs> i like how you laughed at your laugh <laughs> That was uh, such a dumb question. Yeah, it was. You're really, really it dumb was. Right now. We are gonna shelf this book. Oh, shelf it all day for- long. Ever. I want to reread it already. Me too. Like I don't reread things. I know. Because we fall asleep. We fall asleep. <laughs> but I would reread this, and we also just have to take a moment to appreciate the cover, which is one of the many reasons why we are shelving it. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It goes with all the other books on our shelf, so it can stay. It's pretty simple math. Brings us joy. And also these holographics bring joy as well. We love them. And the way this book is laid out is perfect. It flows really wonderfully. There's different parts to the book. Um, There's Renault, which is the first part where Princess Aurelia comes from. And then there's Aklev, where she goes to. And then there's all kinds of stuff about the wall, which is the magic barrier. I am thinking now, this was such a political book mm-hmm. at this time. Yeah. very. It's political magic and medieval, and it really reminds me that we have not come as far as we thought we did. No. No. Yeah, people being hmm. uh, prosecuted and then murdered for just things that they don't even know if they're legal. People letting off other individuals just because the, a person in power says like, oh, it's fine. Even though that person's really, really bad that committed the crimes, mm-hmm. they get to walk free because they have enough money to pay for it. It very much was a reflection on the world yes. as a whole. And if you love the Salem Witch Trials, yeah. you're going to love this book. Oh, you'll definitely love this. This mm. was such a good book. And I... I can't wait for the second one. Me either. Honestly. We're going to have to wait for like a whole year at least. Yes. Mm. Crystal, please. Please. Write it faster. Yeah. And the page count was absolutely perfect. We talked about this a little bit, um, I think in one of our podcast episodes, Mm -hmm. but usually with fantasy books, they get longer and longer and longer as they go. But this one was perfect length. It was just shy of 400 pages, mm-hmm. which means that the audiobook was about 10 and a half hours. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're able to speed up audiobooks, it can be done in two days. Yes. I had this at 1.45 speed mm-hmm. and it was great. Could still understand everything. Nicola sounded perfect. Um, I had it at 1.25 yeah. and I was reading along and it just 
flowed very nicely. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So we definitely recommend picking up the audiobook. If you get a chance to pick up the hard copy of Bloodleaf as well, definitely do that and read along because it'll just reinforce how great this world is. Yes. Hmm. So thank you again for HMH for giving us a copy of yes. this book. We are Ugh. so appreciative of it. Yeah. We love you. Keep sending them our way. Yeah. And thank you so much to Crystal Smith for interacting with us. Yes. And just chatting with us on Twitter, indulging all of our weird questions, like baby nurseries for a fictional child. Sorry. Um, and, and interacting with us on Instagram, too. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And if you want to stay up to date with us, if you want to interact with us, feel free to find all of our social medias. They're listed down below. And you can also subscribe, get new video alerts whenever we post. Um, we publish every Wednesday and then we're also pushing out our podcast episodes on YouTube as well every Monday. So you can stay up to date. So until next time. Bye. bye. My thumb, my finger just keeps sticking out like that. Can we do that pinky. again? Yeah. <clears throat> so until next time. Oh, wait, I was like looking off. So until next time. Bye. bye.